the solution. I'm your astrologer and tarot card reader, Mary Trimble, here with your readings for June the 10th through June the 16th. And on Sunday the 16th, it's Father's Day, so happy Father's Day to all you dads out there. A, a particular mention to my son, Aidan, what a lovely dad you are. I'm so proud of you. And um, listen, I want to say thank you to everyone uh, who commented, liked, shared, and, and I want to thank all the new subscribers. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new, I hope that you enjoy these readings and that you will return. Um, and if you're returning, I really appreciate your love and support of this channel. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. And um, these are general readings, like I said. Uh, please take what resonates and leave the rest. Don't assume that everything I say here is applicable to you. If you would like a personal reading and a more in-depth reading, the link to my website is below and you can check that out and see all the readings and the services that I offer. Um, these another way that you can support my channel fyi is through patreon and you can do that for as little as a dollar a month um that's not a lot to you. it's 12 dollars a year it's not a lot to you but it's huge to me i could do a lot with a dollar or just a one-off donation um that would be really helpful too anyway check out the patreon page i i post things there that i don't post uh anywhere else um and I, sometimes i post things there first and then release it elsewhere Anyway, I also have a Facebook group, guys, and it's a private Facebook book, uh, group, and I do live feeds there every two weeks. I do horoscopes for people that attend the live, uh, the live feed, and I also have my cards on hand for any questions. Um, now, these readings are in three sections. There is the intro, which is this. There is the... Uh, uh, astrology report for the week and then the tarot card reading. So if you're checking out your sun, moon and rising, all the links will be below. You, there will also be timestamps of where you can skip the intro and astrology if you're checking out uh, the readings, multiple readings. So without further ado, let's go to the astrology report, shall we? Hello and welcome to the astrology section of your reading. Now, on Monday, June the 10th, at 11.28 a.m., the sun is in a very challenging um, aspect to Jupiter. Now, this aspect may have you overly optimistic and, and you may have some errors in judgment. You could be extravagant with money and you could expand your waistline also. It's kind of a, it's just an energy that can overdo things. Now take care not to have unrealistic expe expectations from those around you, colleagues, employees, employers, friends, family members. Um, and your ego may want to come out and play. If not you, those around you could uh, exhibit arrogance or egocentric behaviors. Um, have a forgiving heart for yourself and for others. Um, now on Wednesday, June the 12th, it took, um, from 11.15 to 3, 11.15 a.m. to 3.16 p.m., um, the moon is what we say in astrology, void of course. That means it's kind of stuck between two signs. It's not moving. It's kind of floating there. Um, and that means it's kind of like Mercury in retrograde. Um, I would avoid purchasing anything, particularly large items. You could get buyer's remorse. Um, now, also, don't sign any contracts because things could be missed during this time. Now, on Wednesday, uh, on Friday, the 14th, at 2.12, 2.12 uh, a.m., Mars is in a beautiful uh, relationship to Neptune. Now, this aspect enhances your intuition and psychic abilities. So trust your gut feeling. And there's a nice balance between creativity and practicality. It's like... You'll have magnetism and charisma attracting people to you. And Mars will give you the energy um, to carry out a creative project to completion. Um, you know, just in time for the upcoming full moon in Sagittarius on uh, Monday the 17th. So uh, take... 
I would just say take care not to be too self-sacrificing during this time. Also, uh, a little bit later on in the morning, 11.49 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, Mars is kind of in a seesaw relationship with Saturn. So Mars is the soldier, right? And Saturn, the grumpy old man. Um, there may be a tendency to be a little cruel, impatient, um, and perhaps manipulating. Um, it's an energy where you find yourself or others uh, lashing out in cruel and not very nice ways. And your self-esteem could fluctuate on this day. So there's definitely a mix of uh, energies there on Friday. Now on Sand Sunday, the 16th, uh, Mercury is in a beautiful relationship to Neptune. Um, it's kind of doing what Mars has done, but now it's Neptune, right? Is moving into those kind of same energies. It's 4.43 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. A wonderful imaginative mind with the ability to smoothly communicate and uh, brilliant concepts which could inspire you and others. Um, it kind of gives you this uh, a visionary outlook, if you will. And it's like you'll become this engaging storyteller. So you will grab people's attention. Um, this aspect will benefit you immensely if you are a writer, a creative writer, a journalist, or if you're in the visual arts. Um, now, the same day, Mercury, a bit later on at 7 a.m., a few hours later, is in that opposition, uh, you know, that challenging kind of seesaw relationship with Saturn. So the thing with this is your mind will be extremely sharp, right? Um, and, and it's almost like you could handle a very difficult subject. Your concentration powers will be very strong. With Mercury opposing Saturn, you've got that, uh, what's the word? Uh, you know, Saturn's like the teacher, the strict teacher, and, and he, he's structure and form. And Mercury's the mind that can wander, right? But he will keep it in kind of check. So... Um, you know, you can tackle a very difficult subject, subject that you couldn't get your head around before, you may be able to do that now. So, you know, use that energy. And then um, at 8.18, just a little bit over an hour later, uh, Jupiter moves into a challenging um, relationship to Neptune. It, it kind of gives you uh, the urge to help others. And it's like, you know, you'll have this wonderful kindness and compassion and altruism Altruism could take center stage. You just have to be careful not to kind of lose yourself in it and, you know, help people at the expense of yourself. So uh, it's kind of, uh, it's almost like unrealistic um, expectations of yourself, if you will. Um, so don't self-sacrifice. Be aware of that. Okay, let's go to your cards, shall we? Hello, Scorpio, and welcome to your reading or your tarot card section of your reading for June the 10th through June the 16th. Okay, one last shuffle. All right. Blessings, guidance, and helpful information. Can you give Scorpio for this coming week? One. Two more cards for Scorpio, please. Two more cards for Scorpio. What wonderful blessing, guidance, and helpful information can you give Scorpio for this week? Oh! Too many. Too many. If that's meant to come out, it'll come out. Two more cards for Scorpio, please. Two more cards for Scorpio. Oh, one more card for Scorpio, please. One more card for Scorpio. Okay. One more card. 
Oh, the Scorpio. Oh. One more card for Scorpio. Oh dear. Okay, there we go. Okay. Now, oh, very interesting. Okay, so these are clarifying cards, and let's clarify. You're reading this with the score. Okay, please clarify. There you go. Oh, very interesting. Please clarify. Oh. And please clarify. Oh, they're coming out, but they're not. That's it. Okay. Let's go to your cards. Let's take a look at them. The first card out for you is the world. Clarifying the world is the Fool. Then you have the Three of Swords. Clarifying the Three of Swords is the Wheel of Fortune. And then you have the Moon. And then clarifying the Moon is the King of Cups. Okay. So the world is about changing the trajectory of your life. This is about going in a completely different direction. This is things are changing in a way that's, um, wow, like there's major change going on. This is the thing. You're at a crossroads here, uh, Scorpio, and you have the opportunity to go forward in a totally different direction that's kind of exciting. And... When the world comes into a reading, it's saying the universe has your back. All the energies will help you move in this direction. Now, you can continue to do the same old thing and get the same old results. You know, nothing will change if you don't change. But this is an opportune time for you to change, Scorpio. So I have a feeling that you've got something new coming in for you. And, I, and look clarifying it is the fall. It's a new journey for you. Um, this is interesting because the fool goes on the journey. He's very, uh, you know, naive. He's not looking where he's going. He's excited about this journey, you know, and he can kind of fall off a cliff, right? And if he falls off the cliff, he doesn't care because he feels that he is going to be okay. It's a leap of faith. You're being asked to take a leap of faith. Now, what I will say is, look where you're going. <laughs> this is not about taking a leap of faith and just jumping off a cliff. This is about being, you know, be careful where you tread. So um, I will also say that there is some, there's, you know, humans are afraid of change and there's some kind of trepidation, maybe a little fear that goes along with this, you know, not knowing what's ahead. Um, but I really feel that uh, when you, when the world comes in, it is saying that this is a good time for you to make this change and to go on this journey, to start this brand new kind of phase of your life, if you will. Now, the next card is um, the Three of Swords. And the Three of Swords is pain no two ways about it it's emotional pain it's really kind of intellect pain because it's remembrance this this the three of swords was put there uh it was kind of uh, i want to say imprinted there at, when you were young you know it could be your first you know love you know you could have been hurt from that but usually this is, you know, implanted when you are very young. And people and events kick this uh, pain up for you. 
Um, so this could be a fear of abandonment, this could be a fear of being betrayed, this could be, and usually, you know, for most it's a fear of abandonment, you know, it could be as simple as, you know, our mom and dad went away for a weekend when we were really young and, and you know, and, you know, we can't remember it per se, but the pain, it was installed then, right, and events and people can stimulate that. Somebody can say something and it can take us back to this. And it can be events that we remember too. Um, so this is kind of something that comes, because the swords are intellect, so it's kind of something that comes up for us and we feel it intensely, right? Because we remember it and then we feel it in our bodies. Um, so maybe this change is a fear that's coming up um, and we are feeling this pain in some way this week. I, I, this is a, a time where you could come across something that's uncertain. Somebody, I mean, it could be as simple as somebody kind of, you know, saying something that takes you on a journey into this pain. Um, but whatever it is, Scorpio, this is a pain that you're feeling. Um, now, clarifying it, which is kind of unusual, is that the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is saying that, look, things are going to happen for you in a really good way. So this pain, this when this card comes up, you are being asked to let this pain go. Now, I know that's easier said than done, right? But the, how you can let this pain go, and, and look, it may not be forever, right? But it's, don't wallow in this pain, Scorpio, because you're going to kind of... Um, well, you wouldn't wallow in the pain if you knew what was ahead, right? So this is about taking this pain in. It's about taking it into your heart. It's about feeling this pain. And it's about releasing it. If you have to cry, cry, get in touch, connect the dots. You know, if you can connect the dots, it's even better. But allow this to come out. Don't let the steam build up. Because, you know, Scorpio, you're very good at internalizing that pain. And internalizing that pain can hurt you physically. You can be ill from that. So it's about releasing that pain. It's letting it go. Hey, sometimes it's going into a room, you know, when no one's there, screaming even. Let it out. Let the pain out. You don't have to carry this around. You know, you don't have to carry this pain around. And you've got the Wheel of Fortune. So the Wheel of Fortune is turning in your direction you know i always want to sing that song it's turning in your direction i'm gonna make you love me oh yes i will <laughs> don't go don't go so the wheel of fortune darling is turning in your direction it's like you finally feel oh wow things are really balancing in my favor now you have the moon that's the next card and we're going to be coming up to the full moon in uh on the 17th which is this this reading is for the 16th but i feel that you're going to be preparing for this full moon for letting this go for moving on right because full moons are completions and um and the moon is emotional and it also sheds a light it sheds a light in the shadows. So you get to see the sh what's in the shadows, lurking in the shadows. You get to see some truth here. Something that you need to look at. And it's kind of an emotional thing. You've got to kind of... I feel that you've got to deal with your demons this week, uh, Scorpio. You're going to have to bring them into the light. And I say that you've got the King of Cups. Now, the King of Cups, look, he's sitting on water on his throne. So he is this stoic uh, leader, a king. He believes he needs to remain stoic in order to be a good leader. So he um, suppresses his uh, emotions. He doesn't allow them to come out. Um, but... What I'm getting from this is that you need to allow your emotions to come out. Now, I'm not saying, and I say that because if you don't, you'll end up like 
you know, shouting or lashing out in the wrong way or saying something cruel to someone. It's just you'll lash out, right? You'll, somebody will get a tongue lashing. <laughs> um, so you need to be in touch with your emotions and you need to look at the shadows and accept yourself as whole. We're all, we've all got shadow signs. We've got to accept ourselves. Um, and we have to, you're going to have to let go of this pain. Look, somebody could say something to you and you are going to hold on to it and, you, and you're, you know, you may be trying to let it go internally, um, but sometimes you really need to explore this pain and connect these dots in order to release it. Um, things, look, things are really looking good for you. The only thing that I can see here is you've got to be in touch with your feelings. Look, you, you are very sensitive and you are this well of emotion inside. Um, and it's like the King of Cups, like, you know, you'll be having a river of emotions and all kinds of things going on, but your face is like this, blank. But inside you're feeling everything. You need to kind of express those feelings in, some, in a healthy way. So it, it, it's, it's getting with self, it's exploring those feelings, and it's allowing them to come out in a way that's going to benefit you. If you've been hurt by something that your partner or friend has said, then it's important that you address it and say, you know, that really hurt my feelings. It's really allowing people, right, the benefit to make amends to you and to change their behavior. Because, you know, uh, Scorpios can hold it in and they're resentful and, and they, you know, they may not want to even look at that, right? Um, and so they're not forgiving, and yet they appear to be forgiving um, because they're so hurt, right? Because you're so sensitive and you're so hurt. But it's about, um, it's about practicing expressing those feelings, you know, and, and, and expressing them where they need to be expressed so that they are not hurting you. Because those feelings inside that you're not allowing to come out is causing you great pain. And physical, you know, it's not good for you physically. It can make you ill. All right, darling. Scorpio, thank you so much for tuning in. Please don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends and family. And comment. I answer every comment and I, and I welcome feedback. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. I love you all and I'll see you next week.